Hi ladies, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. Today is March 1st. Rabbit, rabbit. Happy spring. I know it's not technically spring, but to me, March, April, and May are spring. I've lumped all the seasons into three months, you know, March, April, May, spring, June, July, August, summer, and so on. You know, that's the way I look at it. And March is the first month of spring to me. And even though we tend to get a lot of rain here in March, I know it's only going to just like make my tulips bloom in the summer or late spring. And I'm looking forward to seeing them come up. And my husband and sons and I are going to get our little garden plot ready eventually for planting this summer. So I like looking forward to that in the springtime. But anyways, I do want to chat with you a little bit. And I actually filmed this intro twice. The first time I chatted a lot in the beginning, but I thought some of you might pop on here just to see what I'm sharing with you today. And you don't want to hear me yammering on about my personal life and all this other stuff. So I decided I would refilm the intro. I'm going to jump right in with what I have for you today. And then if you feel like sticking around, you can stick around afterward and we could just chat a little bit. But today's video is going to be sharing with you my MZ Wallace handbags and I only have two and I actually only have one <laughs> that's out of the box the other one is still in the box and I haven't seen it yet and it was all I could do to not open this box because it came a couple of days ago but I wanted to unbox it with you guys so I'm gonna do that and um, so MZ Wallace uh, you can get these on the MZ Wallace website and you can get them on at department stores. I purchased both of mine from Nordstrom and um, they're really popular bags. They're made out of nylon with leather trim. They have Italian leather trim. This one doesn't have a lot of trim on it, but it does have a little bit, um, but they're mostly nylon handbags and they're very, very durable. And the reason why I only have one, and you know I'm a handbag lover, is because I wasn't sure how durable, durable they were. When I first was checking them out, I went to a Nordstrom and I was like feeling one of them and I thought, hmm, I wonder how that would hold up and I was not sure about it so I didn't purchase it because they are fairly expensive. They're like about $200 or more depending on the bag that you get. Some are less, like some of their smaller like bat, um, belt bags and things like that. But they're not inexpensive, so I didn't want to spend my money on something that wasn't going to be really durable because I like my handbags to last. And a lot of times when I'm finished with a handbag, I sell it. So that way I can purchase new handbags. <laughs> so I was not sure about it. But a year ago, I remember I was watching that series, Better Off Dead. It had Christina Applegate in it. This was a couple of years ago. And she carried around a big MZ Wallace tote. And I see those all around town. And I've always thought they were really cute. And I love how they're just like big and they hold a lot and they look stylish. They're quilted and they sort of have an elegance to them, even though they're kind of like a gym bag. And so I've been, had my eye on these bags. So finally, last year, I decided to purchase one. And what I decided to purchase is, is the convertible Crosby bag. And this is a belt bag, a sling bag, or like a shoulder bag in one. And I'll show you. I did share this with you when I first got it on my channel. And I carry this bag so much. And it's so durable. And I've even washed this bag. And it washes up beautifully. When I visited my daughter in South Carolina. And I was there for about a week. This is the only bag I carried. And we went to the beach. And we went all over the place. And I would just drop this bag. Like sometimes we'd be at a restaurant. And I didn't have a place to put put it so I kind of set it on the ground next to me. I mean it definitely has taken a beating and it looks beautiful still. So this is my Crosby bag and I'll show it to you. It's kind of an awkward bag because it is like a convertible style bag so I'll I'll hold it up and show it to you so you can see it. But this bag is 14 inches across in length and then it's two inches in width like why widens out and it's six inches in height. So those are the diameters and it holds a lot. I tend to be, especially when I'm traveling, 
a bigger bag person. Like I like sort of like a backpack or I like a long chomp, large tote or bags that just hold a lot. And whenever I travel, those are the bags I tend to bring. So traveling with this bag has been awesome because when I traveled to see my daughter, I only brought a carry-on bag and I had to really limit what I could bring. So that's why I only brought this. And it looked cute no matter what I was wearing, whether I was wearing a dress or even like leggings and gym clothes. And so this is how I typically carry this bag, is like this. And it has a couple of straps and they're adjustable. This first one is not adjustable. And this is kind of like decorative. And at first I wasn't sure what to do with this. I hooked it on the straps here. It's removable. So if you don't like it, you can take it off. But I kind of like it. I think it adds like a little pizzazz to the bag. And it does have like leather woven into like the hardware here. And it's just like something that makes the belt bag look a little dressier, like I said. And so this is how how I carry it. You could also like turn it around and carry it like on your back, like a sort of a backpack. And that's really nice too. So it's out of your way and your hands free. Or I just kind of carry it over my shoulder like this. And sometimes I carry it like with both straps. So I carry, like usually when I have it hanging on my shoulder like this, I have the straps up on my shoulder. And then you can adjust this strap and you can also use it as a belt bag and just put it around your waist like a belt bag. And I've never done that and I don't know why because I've taken it hiking a lot of times and that would have been the best way but I've just never bothered with it because I kind of like it as a sling or a backpack and it works really well like that but I do see other people carrying their bag like that as a belt bag. I guess I feel like if I adjust the straps to make it fit around my waist like that then I have to fuss with them again to get them back in position to be a sling bag so I haven't bothered with it. So it doesn't have any pouches, any zippers or compartments in the back. In the front, I like this black and red. I like how the, the leather tat, like um, thingies hanging from the, the zipper are red. I think that's kind of pretty. It's also up here, like where it connects. It's like there's red piping. Okay, I'm going to open the first one, and this is the first compartment, the big compartment. Look how large that is. It will hold so much, and then you also have this zipper compartment here. Guys, shh. stop. Stop, Rosie. No, no, Rosie, Rosie. I'm going to get my dogs a bone. I'll be right back. Stay. Stay. If you've been watching me, you know that these two can get really rowdy. So I got these Busy Bones minis. They're actually kind of large though. They're perfect for my dogs, but there's a teeny size or a tiny size if you've got a dog smaller than mine. And they just have like, like meat in the middle and they both really like these and that will keep them busy. <laughs> so there's that one interior zipper pocket. The zipper is very smooth and this is pretty deep too, so it holds a lot. I like to keep my wallet or things that I don't want rolling around in my bag it contained in this little pouch, but here I can put other, you know, other larger things. And then it has this zipper pouch here, and this is not quite as deep, but it is long, and it holds quite a bit too. So as you can see, it's a pretty decent sized bag for being a kind of like, um, it's large for a belt bag, I think. MZ Wallace does make other ones. There's another one I kind of have my eye on, but I decided not to get that one right now since I already have one that I really like. But um, yeah, so this is the one that I've had for a while and it doesn't show any signs of wear and tear. The fabric is quilted and it's very kind of soft and silky. And that was what I was concerned about. I thought it's kind of soft. Would, like if my dog jumps on it, would their nail tear it or something like that? Because I do keep it in the car. 
obviously when I drive and they jump around sometimes and that has happened, but there's never been any damage to my bag. So I would really recommend the MZ Wallace bags because in my experience with this one bag, the quality is definitely there. So after having this probably a little over a year, I decided to go for another bag and I wanted to get the tote that I was telling you about that I saw in Better Off Dead. And I've seen it around town and I thought it was really cute. And I think it's called the Metro Tote. And I decided not to get that one though because it has straps for your shoulder and um, there's no other way to carry it except for a shoulder bag. So I opted for something different and I'm gonna unbox it for you. And then I'll tell you what bag it is and all the details. So I haven't even opened the tape or anything. So let me get this box open and I'll be right back. Okay, so I opened the tape on the box and this is my bag inside here. And now I'm gonna open the plastic and show you show you what's in here. So this is what it looks like. It's in the color magnet and it says MZ Wallace here. It's kind of like thick quilted nylon and it feels exactly like my Crosby crossbody um, belt bag. And then on the back, it has a pocket here with a strong magnet and it also has a little pocket here and both are very deep. They go like the whole length of the bag. So they're very deep pockets. This one looks small, like you could just stick your phone in there. But if you stick your phone in there, it's gonna go down. So you'll still have to kind of reach in there to get it. But I don't mind, that makes it a little more secure. And then you've got those, the pocket here that's also very deep and it has a magnet on it. And there's something I noticed about this bag that I'm not sure I understand. So here's the bottom of the bag and it does have leather tabs on it for setting it down on the floor. So your bag doesn't get dirty if you set it down on a floor. I don't, it's kind of one of those bags that will sink in on itself. Well, maybe not. If I put a, an organizer in it, it will give it more structure and it'll stay up. And I'll, I probably will use an organizer, but if you don't, it still will kind of stay up. So that's kind of nice but I don't plan on setting this down, you know, on too many dirty floors, but it's nice to have those tabs there. And the thing that I don't understand is there's also a zipper down here. You can see this tab sticking out, another nice zipper pull. And the zippers are all very, very smooth. So like the quality is definitely there. And I thought, huh, that's interesting. What does this do? But it goes all the way out. So I don't know, is that like if you're carrying I don't know, a baseball or a rolled up yoga mat or something. You can hold it in place and it can hang out the bottom a little bit and out the top. I don't understand, but for me, for now, it's gonna stay zipped and it doesn't have any like openings anywhere. It's very secure. So um, yeah, so there's that. Okay. So let's look at the inside of the bag. And this is something else I didn't know. It's got three zippers. So there's one here. They're all covered in tissue paper still. I tried to unwrap one to show you what they look like, but they look like, you know, that this. They're tan with the red piping and they say MZ Wallace and they have a little gold hardware on them. They're very, very good quality. And there's one zipper here and it has another pole and I have to unwrap that later. It's kind of tedious to pick off that tissue. And it's a nice zipper pouch and it's pretty deep and it doesn't have anything else in there except it's a nice zipper pouch and it's kind of hidden away. I didn't even know that was there. And then there's an identical one on the other side. And again, the nice zipper pull and the same type of pouch, nothing inside of it, but it's a nice secure pouch. So that's really nice. You could keep like your cosmetics or something on one side. You could even like do your wallet, things like that on this side, very nicely kind of hidden away and zipped closed. So nobody could get in there but you. And then the large zipper in the middle, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Let me take the paper out. There's just a couple pieces of paper in here. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so this is the inside, and it has this large pouch on the inside as well. And it's attached to the bag. You can detach it with this little claw hook here. See, it's connected, and it's a very large pouch, and it has the leather MZ Wallace here. Nice zipper pull again, smooth zipper. And it's just like a nice little bag. It doesn't really have like a lot of structure to it. It's just almost like one of those bags that you can fold up maybe this bag and stick it inside if I wanted to, or just use it inside your bag, again, to stop items from rolling all over. So on this side of the interior of the bag, there's two slip pockets. And they are just that, just slip pockets, nothing special about them. You can slip items into them and they're nicely contained here in the side of the bag. And then on the other side of the bag, you have another zip pouch and it's got a cute little pull here that says MZ Wallace on it. And it's like a, a light golden hardware. The zipper's very smooth. And again, just like a nice pouch that's contained in there. So this bag has organization galore. And I like all the, everything's really secure. Everything's zipped closed and nicely contained in your bag. Now, the reason I chose this bag instead of the regular Metro, medium Metro tote, is that this one has a crossbody strap. So let me take this off and I'll show it to you. So this is what it looks like. And it's adjustable, so you can adjust it. And this is 12 inches, but it extends to 24 inches. I'm gonna leave it here for now and I'm just gonna clip it onto my bag. It's got these rings here. And those are kind of nice because they're also kind of like inside. See on the outside, you just see the little grommet that holds the hardware on. And then that's kind of like on the interior. Okay, so this is how it looks. And the dimensions of my bag are 11 inches by 11 inches. And it's nine inches in depth. So it is considered a medium bag, but it has a large capacity. It even says that on the website that the interior capacity is considered large, even though it's a medium bag. Um, I would agree that it's a medium sized bag because I do have tote bags that are about 15 inches and they're larger than this one. So this is a nice size. It does come in small and it does also come in large. And I don't know the dimensions of those, but I thought this would be perfect for my needs. Plus we're gonna be taking a trip this coming week and this will be a nice bag to bring for that. And I'm excited about it. There's nothing about it that's really disappointing me. Um, it just has other features that I didn't know that it had, but gosh, it's so organized. I think it's gonna make a really nice bag for someone with an active lifestyle or even a working woman. I'm sure you could fit like a 13 inch laptop in here and you can fit a lot of stuff in here. But um, it's a very light bag. It feels very, very light because it is all nylon with only the leather detail and all the zippers and so on. So let's try it with this strap. So see, I didn't even adjust it and this strap fits pretty well. I guess I could fold the other straps in or just kind of fold them out and carry it like that. Or I could extend it and have it drop even lower. But I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this bag. I think the color is really nice for any season. They do have summer colors. I didn't want to get it in a light color just because I know myself and my lifestyle and I would get it dirty. But um, this one, I, it's not black. And, you know, I didn't want another black bag. So this is perfect in the shade Magnet. So this is the MZ Wallace Medium Metro Deluxe shoulder crossbody bag and I hope you enjoyed my little review of it. So now I thought I would just share with you just a few other things. So if you are only here to see the bags, you can just click out now. But other than that, I was just going to tell you guys that I didn't answer a lot of my comments on my last video, my fragrance video, because 
Um, I was a little down last week. I had an episode where I just kind of got down in the dumps. And when that happens, I like to keep really busy. Like I'll go work out, take my dogs to the dog park. Um, I visited with a lot of friends. Like I reconnected with one of my friends I hadn't seen in a while. And, um, you know, I just keep myself productive and busy. And that usually helps. So when I'm sitting around, that's when I usually start to feel like really down. So I wasn't sitting around a lot to answer my comments, but I did read every single one of of them and I need to just start hardening them so that you know I've seen them and I will answer them in fact that's the only way that I can engage with you guys because I um, I don't know who's watching unless you leave me a comment and then I can comment back to you and that's how I've gotten to know so many of you and I really cherish that part of having a YouTube channel and so I don't want to stop answering my comments in fact I used to always answer my comments before I would put up the next video you know I'd make sure that video was completely kind of closed out all the comments were answered and taken care of and now I have another video and I don't want to get away from that because it helps me keep organized too so so, um, so yeah, so please just give me a little bit of grace if I'm slow answering comments. Um, I'm kind of figuring this thing out, my mental health situation. I'm working toward figuring it out. And um, so, yeah, I still am struggling a little bit on some days. Today's a really up day. Um, it's Friday. It's March 1st. So that's part of it. But my youngest son turns 18 on Sunday. Oh, my goodness. I hope these dogs aren't bothering you guys too much. My son turns 18 on Sunday, and we're having like a little family birthday party for him. So my older son and I are going to go. He is finished with school for the for the semester, like the, he's just had his midterms, if that makes sense. And he's home for spring break. He's coming home today. So we're going to go and get like 18 balloons for my son and like put them in his room, like as a surprise. And then we're going to um, have a little family birthday party for him on Sunday. And that's going to be really fun. It really brightens my mood to, you know, see my family. That's like you a big part of why I feel down sometimes. It's just the season of life. Menopause, the kids leaving the nest, um, a lot of changes. But like I said, I am really working on it. And I'm feeling hopeful because I've got a few things kind of figured out. And I don't really want to share it until I know like what has worked for me. I do share like scriptures and things like that that have been really helping me. And you know what's something that's been helping me lately is a YouTube channel. And I don't know if any of you guys know who Jordan Peterson is. It's not his channel, but he's... Um, a professor in Canada and his YouTube channel kind of blew up. He gives like very insightful lectures on things and I do watch him from time to time. But what I've been really enjoying is his wife, Tammy Peterson. She has a podcast and you can watch her videos on YouTube. And she got really, really ill in 2019. I won't tell the story just in case any of you want to watch it. And she got so sick that she had like a very short time to live. They said like 10 months or something. And um, she went through this big process and um, how she dealt with that. And it, it's kind of hopeful. You know, it feels hopeful to me. And so I've been watching her and kind of binging her videos. I, I really like her. She's such a soft-spoken beautiful soul. You know how some people, you just, I don't know, it's like they spew words of wisdom and they are so calm and they're a delight to watch or be around and you just want to know all their secrets. That's how I feel about her. So check her out if you're interested. I'll link it down in the description box. I really just found her a few days ago and started binging her videos. So you might want to join me in that um, let's see. What else? I've been reading. I just downloaded a book on my Kindle, The Radium Girls. It's kind of an interesting book. I also just started that. And it's about when radium, the element, was first discovered and people didn't really understand it. And they used the radium, which is radiation, um, to light up dials on watches and things like that. And so there was like a studio. They were like factory worker girls, but they called it a studio. And they would go in there and painstakingly 
apply the radium to the watches and things like that. And I don't know how this is going to end. I kind of do know how it's going to end. We can surmise, right? But um, it's kind of an interesting story and it's a true story. So I just started reading that and that helps because I need to just get out of my head when I'm feeling down, you know, or when I'm feeling like I don't know if it's anxiety or depression or both enfolded into one. That's what it feels like. But I just need to get out of my own head. And so working out has really helped. Pure Bar is, I've said it before, the best thing I've done for myself in a long time because I'm excited when I get go. When I get there, I have to focus on what I'm doing. And it's not such a rigorous workout that I feel like I'm dying <laughs> you know, when I leave. And then when I leave, I feel good about myself. I, like I've achieved something. I feel successful. And so that's like, like almost like three hours of time where it's just good, productive time for my own personal self. Um, doing things for other people, you know, like I like to bring food to, or I don't even want to talk about things that I do like to help other people because it says in the Bible not to, you know, if you um, brag about it or not even brag about it, it just says don't mention it because if you do, you get your glory for it here on earth. But if you don't, you'll get it in heaven. So I try to bite my tongue when I talk about those kinds of things because I think of that verse um, I'd rather have like a little jewel in my crown in heaven, you know, from God than like m people saying, oh, good job, look at you, or, or or the opposite, oh, she's bragging, look at her, she just wants to talk, talk about what she does. And I will say um, humbly that I definitely should and could do more, you know, definitely. So there's that. Um, my dogs have been a huge blessing to me, especially the addition of Kenny, because he is like so good for Rosie, my other dog. She had nobody to play with because when we got Rosie, my other dog that I had, Candy, the white dog I used to have, she died. She was 15. Um, she was too old to really keep up with Rosie. So they didn't have this real playful relationship. But then I introduced Kenny into the mix, my sweet boy. And he just has brought Rosie like... It's like a gift to her because she plays with him all day long. They run around, they play, and they just love on each other. And there's never been any strife between them. And that's been really, really good. So that's been a really good thing. Um, there's so many good things, you know, and it really does help to think about the good things. And when you think about the good things, it's hard to sit and focus on the bad. But I was talking to my daughter about this. It's like when you're feeling bad, though, and you're feeling down, it's almost like all you can do is sit there and feel that way. Like, I can't distract myself with reading. I can't watch Netflix. I have no interest in making a YouTube video. I have no interest in, like, anything. You just feel that low. And I just thank God thank God for reprieves. Like today, I'm having a reprieve. I feel great. I don't think it's over. I, that time will come back, but knowing it's hopeful knowing that you're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. And um, I was never like this before. I was always a very optimistic person. And I feel like it's a blessing that I am having this now because now I understand it. You know, I had no understanding of it before. Like I've never <laughs> cried like I cry now, you know. So I have um, an understanding of it and I'm thankful to God for that because I know that he's doing a work in me. He's building my character. He's building my perseverance. And when you're in a time of strife and struggle, you're usually being tested because you um, will be brought to like the next level of things that God has for you. And I don't mean the next level, like, oh, I'm going to be up here. And, and I was down here. Everybody else is down here. And not like that. Just like I can be trusted for this next job that God has me to do, but he has to get me ready for it. So I don't want to waste it. I want to stay close to him. And so that's what I do. That's why um, Tammy Peterson has been helpful because she helped me think of ways to stay connected to God. And, you know, um, everyone says, like, pray without ceasing. And I've always thought I've done that just throughout the day. Say, God, thank you for this. Or God, help me with that. Or let your will be my will. And all those kinds of things. 
but when you're feeling really down, like I said, you can't really pray too well either. You know, you're trying to, but the words don't come. And I know that in the Bible, it says that the Holy Spirit will pray on our behalf with utterings that only God can understand. Um, and I hold tight to that, but um, it's good for my prayer life too. So there's so many good things in this bad thing. So I just wanted to tell you guys a little more about that in case you're having a difficult time. And if you're not, enjoy the time you're in because I, you will, you will have a difficult time and we all do, you know, it's like life is ups and down hills and valleys. And when we're at the top of the mountain, we just need to enjoy it. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't question why things are so good. Just enjoy it and thank God for it. Um, because you won't always stay right up there. And, you know, it's just life. And the older I get, the more I realize that. And I want to learn everything I can because I want to help other people who, find, who I find out are struggling with things like this themselves. But first, I need to get through it. <laughs> and I'm taking you guys on the journey and just sharing what I'm doing and what's working and what's not working. Uh, my sister-in-law recommended a couple supplements, and I'm not sure about them. One is ashwagandha, and she said to take that one at night. And then the other one is lion's mane, and take that one in the morning. And um, I did that <laughs> last week, and I didn't really notice any difference whatsoever. But I, maybe it takes time. So um, yeah, those are two supplements. She's a nurse, and she's really into holistic um, medicine and she's really into taking care of your body. And so I trust her and just because it might not, it might work for me over time, but just because it didn't work immediately doesn't mean that it doesn't work. You know, take it with a grain of salt. It's a supplement. You know what I mean? It's like some people feel like, oh, I don't want to go that route. And some people feel like, oh yeah, it really worked for me. And I do think, you know, sub, some supplements really help. So why not? Right. As long as it's not going to hurt you and always check with your doctor and make sure that it doesn't conflict with any other medications that you're taking or with the health condition that you might have, always talk to your doctor and make sure because even supplements can interact with other things. So on that note, I guess I will wish you all a very blessed and beautiful weekend. Thank you for spending some time with me and I'll see you soon.